A Canadian is going to the moon with our international partnership, and it is glorious. Well, you don't get picked for a job like that unless you've trained for years and are at the top of your game. Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen is. He is part of the Artemis II crew that will fly around the moon next year, the first Canadian to ever do so. Jeremy Hansen joins me now from Houston. Jeremy, what a treat to speak with you. Uh, you know, I know part of the job requirement is to remain cool, calm, and collected at all times, but how are you feeling today? Yeah, maybe not completely calm or collected. Uh, pretty extraordinary day for myself as a Canadian, for my family, but uh, most importantly, I hope for Canadians, I really hope they feel the pride that I felt today standing with uh, my American colleagues, setting this big goal of going back to the moon, this goal of around collaboration. It's very meaningful for me. It was very meaningful to see our partners uh, highlight Canada and really uh, lift us up and highlight what our amazing country has done uh, to put us in this position to send a human around the moon. Jeremy, I grew up on a farm like you, and I remember often looking up at the moon, especially on summer nights, in wonder, but never thinking I was going to go there. Did you have that dream as a kid? I did. I, uh, I was really interested in aviation, and I was thumbing through Encyclopedia A and I, for airplanes, and I came across uh, Neil Armstrong, and I saw a picture of a human standing on the moon. I was young, and it made it, I can still see the image of that page burnt in my mind. It really made an impression on me. I never looked at the moon the same way. Uh, right away, I turned my tree house into a rocket ship. I had gauges and dials and circuit breakers for switches, whatever I could find around the farm, and I was exploring space. And I just didn't know that that would be a long shot. People told me that it was possible. I was pretty lucky to be lifted up and mentored along the way. That's terrific. I know you trained as a fighter pilot. You graduated from astronaut candidate training in 2011. You're the first Canadian to lead NASA's astronaut training program. What part of that vast amount of work that you've done over the years has best prepared you for this mission? Oh, I think it's the diversity of all those skills, but probably the most important one, and we talk about it a lot in the core. I talk about it with youth. It's really important is um, teamwork. It's got to be teamwork. You know, you don't go to space alone, and you have to be very, very intentional about just continuing to evolve yourself with respect to how you communicate with others, how you lift others up, how you support them, having empathy. This actually turns out to be more important for how much you can get done, even more important than the, than the technical. That's interesting. Why does this test mission to fly around the moon matter so much? Well, you know, Artemis II mission is, you know, a next step to sending humanity back to the moon in a sustainable way, going there to stay, um, learning more about the moon, preparing us to go on to Mars. So this is just one more step. Um, so it, it matters. It's important because it sets us up for the success of the future. But more important for, for me, the way I look at this, this is a tremendous symbol for Canadians, for them to just look and realize, wow, we can do incredible things when we set big goals and we mm -hmm. collaborate globally. Um, sometimes I think as Canadians, we, we keep ourselves a little bit small. And I've traveled all across our country. I've seen our space industry, talk to our scientists, our engineers, our youth. I see it. We're brilliant. And uh, right now we're being lifted up and, and showcased that uh, we bring real value to the globe. And I love that. That, I think, for me, will be the most important story of Artemis II. Jeremy, it struck me today that you'll be the only Canadian parent who can say to your kids, I love you to the moon and back and actually prove it. <laughs> yes, I know. I've thought that before. And I used to say that uh, a lot. It's on the wall of my uh, daughter's bedroom. And uh, so you're right. It'll be very meaningful for us as a family. Oh, terrific. Thank you so much, Jeremy Hansen. Yeah, thank you.